I used to use the Windows 8.1 in 2024. I want to upgrade your device to a Windows 10 professional. I'll be showing you how to do that, do that in this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson from Kelv Global ICT. And please, before you continue to watch this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So we are going to be upgrading our device from Windows 8.1 to a Windows 10 Professional. And hopefully you, you have already downloaded the Windows 10 Professional from the official website of Microsoft. And when you are trying to download, please download the ISO file or you also have the option to actually upgrade your physical device if you are downloading it directly to that device. So you can see we've already mount the Windows 10 operating system to this device. And what we need to do right now is to double click. So when you double click, then we need to click yes under the user's account control, access control. And then we just wait for some seconds for the installation process to get started. So here you can see we have some options. It says Windows setup will go online to get update. But we can always change how Windows Setup download updates. So let me just click on check this um, because this is actually on a trial device. So let me just click next. So it's going to check, first of all, check for any um, update that this Windows 8.1 is missing because you need all the appropriate updates before you could um, upgrade your device from a Windows 7 or Windows 8 to a Windows 10 or Windows 11. So let's just wait for this to check and then we can now come back and proceed. So here we go, you can see it says we're starting Windows 10 setup. It says, well, the updates are installed, but Windows 10 setup needs to restart for them to work. So it's going to restart and then we can now proceed. So let's just wait for that. So now you can see that we need to actually provide a product key before we can proceed. So what I'll be doing is the following. I'll be actually providing the product key as associated with this um, device because definitely if you're using a Windows 8.1, you can still use that same um, product key to actually upgrade your device. So let's just enter our product key and then we can now click next. So here we go. You can see it says that my product key works. Then you definitely, definitely need to enter your own product key and then we need to click next. And then we can now say applicable notice and license terms. Let's just accept that. And it's trying to check, choose what to keep. So you have the option to actually um, keep some of your documents um, on your on this device. And after installing your Windows 10 professional, your Windows 10 professional, you will still retain your all your documents, or you're going to do a clean install. So let's just wait for that to get ready, and then we can actually proceed. So now you can see we are receiving that we need your attention. What I just need to do, you can actually say, is continue with the installation of Windows. Of Windows will change your display. So let me just click OK there. And then it says making sure your PC has enough space. You, you need to also make sure that you have enough space to install the operating system. So as you can see. So while this is actually just I'm using a virtual machine for this, but you can make sure that you increase it to like 100 gigabytes. So let's just click here. We can actually change what to keep. So keep personal files and apps, keep personal files only or nothing so by doing nothing everything will be deleted and all including files apps and settings so we're just going to go for the first options probably you'll be using your device for a very long time and you want to make sure that you retain all your documents and um, favorite and more so let's just wait for this to get um to the 200 percent and then we can continue with the process you can see that goes very very fast so we can we can just uh, I'm going to pause this video in between so that I it, it doesn't take a long time for this process for this video um, for this video to be very very long. So I'm going to be making it very short so that um, let me just click install and then we can now begin with the installation process. Here we go. You can see that the installation process has just started. So let's just wait for this to get completed completed and then we can now come back and see when the installation is complete. So here we go. You can see that my device just got restarted and then the um, installation process just continues. So it says working on update. Just like I said before, this installation process can take some time because you're upgrading from Windows um, 8.1 to Windows 10. So it can take up to like 20, 30 minutes for the installation process to be completed. So that is why that is the reason why I'll be actually trying to pause this video 
then come back again when the installation process continues. So if there are any error messages, sometimes the installation process may go wrong and you may receive an error message which we can actually try to verify and see how to actually solve that issue. But should in case you receive any error message during your upgrade, you can always send me a mail or send, leave a comment in the comment section of this video. Then I will actually try my possible best to see if I can solve that problem for you. And if I can solve that problem for you, I also have colleagues who have been working in the IT department for the past 15, 20 years who have a lot of experience with Windows imaging. Probably they may also have um, solutions to your problem. So let's just wait for this to continue and then we will come back again to see the end process of the installation. So now you can see that the Windows uh, Windows um, upgrade just got completed. So what we, what we need to do, we need to log on to our device. This is actually a virtual machine. That's why you can see that the display is being, uh, it's not actually um, looking okay. We need to still install the VMware tools to be able to get the real display size. So let's just log on to our device. You can see this is going to take some few minutes and then we should be able to install the VMware tools and see how that goes. So for the Windows configuration, uh, we need to just go through some process. For example, I can just say no for this. So you need to actually do this I can because this is a test environment. I can say no. So just try to do, do this on your own and then let's come back again and continue. So right now we've logged onto our device and I'm trying to actually reinstall the VMware tools on this device to see if we can get the right display for this uh, machine. And also, we also need to make sure that everything is correct, selected. I think I'm going to entire feature will be installed. Let me see. I will, will be installed on local. Okay, entire feature will be installed. And then let's click next and then change. So let's just click change and then restart our device to see if we can get the right tools. Let's just click finish. And then we can now say we want to actually restart this virtual machine. And then we're going to restart and just wait and see if it goes well or not. So I've been able to restart my device and you can see I was able to change the settings, um, the display resolution to um, 1152 um, times 864. This is actually a virtual machine. This is not actually a physical device. So if you're doing this on a physical device, definitely you'll be having the right resolution. And if you go to Windows Explorer, for example, up my local disk here, you can see we have our Windows. That there's the Windows old, which means that the um, old operating system, the old op operating system, and there's the new operating system, which is Windows 10. Which means you still have the opportunity to actually go back again to a previous version of Windows 8. So that's going to be on a different video entirely. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson, and please, if you have any question concerning upgrade of Windows. 8 to windows 11 or windows 8 or windows 10 don't forget to comment on the on this video and i will reply to you as quick as possible you can as well watch some of my other videos which of course probably i have more than um 500 videos on youtube it related videos which of course one of those videos can be of any help to you thank you very much for your time and goodbye